<laughs> All right, so in the wake of the Mar-a-Lago raid, we've started hearing conservatives express concerns that federal law enforcement has too much power. It's as shocking as finding out that an environmental leader did not fly private to a climate summit. <laughs> but it's an issue that some of us have been trying to warn other people about for years. It's also Mike Pompeo. He's very supportive of unconstitutional spying through the NSA. Which I'm for. Which you like. Which he loves. <laughs> He's all which he loves. I said I'm a bad person. Which I, I'm not for. The government also doesn't have any business spying on me unconstitutionally. Yeah, but you, you don't. Nobody's spying on you. They are, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could use this time to brag about how I was right or about how I keep getting better looking as I get older. <laughs> but, I do. but I'm not going to do that because I think there's something more important to take from all of this. And it's something that we're not talking enough about. So far, so much of the conversation about the raid has been this argument about whether or not it was politically motivated or an abuse of power. So Democrats, they say that it wasn't and that it's wrong to doubt the FBI. Republicans say that it was and that it's wrong to trust them. Vin Diesel says, hey, remember me, Vin Diesel? <laughs> <laughs> and me, I feel like I'm the only one noticing that people's opinions about whether or not the raid was politically, politically motivated seem to be politically motivated too, but they shouldn't be. All of us should fear the possibility of any government agency abusing its power the way that Julie Banderas abuses an open bar. <laughs> and to be clear, it's not about the individual members of federal law enforcement doing their job. It's about the laws that give government entities too much power. And what politicians can do about this is obvious. They should stop voting for laws that strengthen those powers. If you don't want the feds to use their power politically, then stop giving them the kind of power that makes that possible in the first place. After all, a lot of the politicians who are pissed off about the power of the feds in the wake of the Mar-a-Lago raid, they're the same people who have voted to reauthorize the Patriot Act. A lot of them are the same people who in 2018, they voted to extend Section 702 of FISA, which is this provision that led to the NSA surveilling Americans without warrants. And I'm against that kind of snooping, whether it's done by the government or those cameras Greg puts in Brian Kilmeade's dressing room. <laughs> and in 2018, some of us did have concerns. There's really no protections for Americans in this. I understand that if you're a foreign contact, you don't have constitutional rights. But if you're someone who's talking to one of those people and you're wrapped up in it, you, they don't have to get a warrant mm -hmm. just to get your information. And also, the Constitution says this isn't allowed. Oh, okay, Judge Napolitano. It's not in the Constitution! Don't applaud her, it's my show! It's my show! Uh, it's not all or nothing, you can pick a party. Constitution, let's face it, overrated. <laughs> Look, I can't turn this into a I told you so greatest hits show, because they won't let me. Uh, <laughs> But that video shows a very smart girl. She knows to be concerned about giving the government powers that they might abuse. She knows that cats are better than dogs because a cat will never perform a sniff search to rat you out to the FBI. <laughs> but we can't all be cat people. And it's honestly fine if you didn't realize the possible issues with some of these policies until now. These sorts of measures, they're always sold as being necessary to keep us safe and fear can be really effective. It's how I train my puppy and my husband. <laughs> so it's fine if you used to say that you weren't worried about surveillance because you didn't have anything to hide. It's fine if you only became concerned when, for example, federal law enforcement started using these sorts of measures to treat concerned parents as terrorists or people who appreciate the Betsy Ross flag as violent extremists. That's as long as you do realize it and you realize it for the right reasons. You shouldn't be upset about abuses because they're happening to the people you agree with. You should be upset because they're happening. After all, there are legitimate reasons to believe that the FBI has been guilty of abusing power, regardless of what did or didn't happen with Trump. There are so many examples of this that they don't really generate the kind of attention that anything related to Trump does. And on the one hand, I get it. No one commands attention quite like Trump. 
And I say that as someone who gets jealous when anyone says their dog is cute. Like, <laughs> he's cute, I'm standing right here. <laughs> but on the other hand, we really should be giving those other examples attention, especially because since there's nothing politically polarized attached to them, talking about them could maybe give us something to actually unite around in the fight to save our Fourth Amendment rights. For example, the FBI raided U.S. private vaults, which is a private business in California in March of 2021. They went through the safe deposit boxes of customers who weren't suspected of any crime. The warrant explicitly stated that the FBI couldn't use the safe deposit boxes as a basis for a criminal investigation, search, or seizure. But the feds wound up seizing and trying to forfeit 86 million in valuables anyway. Worse, newly released documents suggest that that's what they intended to do all along. Just the limits of the warrant be damned. So, like an overzealous colonoscopy, they went beyond the scope. <laughs> Wait, that happens. So, I get that people are passionate about politics, but this should never outweigh the passion that we should all have for our rights, regardless of the politics. It's been so wild to see the same Democrats who have in the past been concerned about civil liberties violations committed by law enforcement to suddenly side with an organization just because it's now acting against the guy they hate. It's not right. And it's also not right to only care about the possible abuses because they're suddenly against the guy you love. Imagine that playing out on the street. <laughs> Give me your money, give me your money. Help, help, I'm being mugged, help. Wait, hold on a second, dude, we'll save you. Just real quick, where are you on defunding the police? Well, as you can see, that policy has some drawbacks. Oh, God, hard. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, bro, bro, I got you, but tell me, how do you feel about legalized marijuana? Well, unlike this, that's usually a victimless crime. Okay, commie. Give me your money. Okay, one more thing, where are you on NATO expansion? That's an excellent question with some serious geopolitical ramifications mm -hmm. and a lot of unintended consequences. Yes. Applying military and economic pressure so close to the borders with modern day Russia, I just. Oh, this guy can't make up his mind! If you don't want federal law enforcement to be political, then the best way to show that would be to make sure that your reactions to its actions aren't political either. We should demand that politicians do more than provide lip service to score political points and treat threats to our liberties with the seriousness they deserve. If you're just seeing it now, it's okay. But be sure not to forget it and call for politicians to do something, not for their party, but for our country. Because Greg doesn't take many vacations. The next time I can say I told you so might already be too late. <laughs> British, he named his biceps fish and chips. Fox <laughs> News contributor and associate editor of The Spectator, Douglas Murray. <laughs> she takes more tough stances than a one-legged pirate. Fox <laughs> Business anchor, Dagan McDowell. <laughs> his jackets are so loud, you'll need earplugs. Fox against him. Fox Across America host, Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> when he cuts onions, forecasters issue a flash flood warning. The NWA's world television champion, Tyrus. 